Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a math drill tutorial on multiplying by seven. So if you're watching this, you may be already just an expert at multiplying, but uh, this is just an offer also that there's other resources I have on my channel, also mathdrills.com that you can check out. But if you do need help, that's what this video is for. So sevens are actually one of the trickier multiplication tables, along with six and eight. I find those are the most difficult. But seven, especially if you're an American football fan, is a little bit easier if you think about it in terms of American football, okay? This is what I mean. With American football, you get six points for a touchdown, and an extra point is an extra point, obviously, that would, that would take you up to seven. So if you keep track of American football, you should be more familiar with these types of scores because they go in increments of seven. One of the best ways to start off if you're not sure how to keep track of sevens is to start off by just saying, okay, if I multiply by one, how many points is that? That's seven. If I multiply by two, that is 14. Three, 21. And you can just do this all the way through 12, which will take you to 84. So that's one thing I would recommend doing is make sure that you know all your multiples, that's what these are called, before kind of getting into the nitty gritty of multiplying by all these different numbers. But we're going to go through and I'm going to talk about maybe some tips and tricks, some slight ones because seven doesn't have a whole lot other than just memorizing. And of course, practice. You're going to need to practice these lots of times. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have six times seven. So if you had six touchdowns, each one with the extra point being seven, that would take you to 42 points. Seven times three, this is a big one. You're gonna to wanna to remember this one. Seven times three, 21. Definitely have that memorized. And then this is an identity principle, so we have seven. 49, this is another one you need to memorize because this is a perfect square. Seven times seven, 49. And then 35, okay? 35, if it's ending in five, you're, um, Five times tables are a little bit easier, so definitely have this 35. This is a tricky one, 56. A lot of students struggle with the eights and the sevens and the sixes. 10 times seven, you can use a standard algorithm, so seven times zero first, seven times one second, we get 70, but just essentially multiply seven times one and add the zero on the end to make it 70, okay? That's the trick with tens. Seven times four, this is 28. Then we have seven times two, definitely need to know this, that's 14, and then, 12 times seven, that is 84. That's one of the trickier ones. Nine times seven, going down here. The nine tables actually has a nice little trick, which I'm gonna talk about in a later video, but that's 63. I think we did it seven times eight already, that's 56. Did I do that one? Yes, I did. Seven times 11. Well, if you're using the standard algorithm, you need to put the bigger number on top. So you do one times the seven, that's the seven. And then we move on to the next column, to the tens place. Seven times one is also seven. We just write the same number twice. That's the trick with the 11s in single digit numbers, and that is 77. 7 times 3, already said that one. That's one of the, your need-to-knows. And I'm trying to see if there's anything we haven't done. This is 42, 63, 77. I'm trying to see here. 28, we already did. I think that's everything. So 7s are a little tricky. Like I said, you're going to need a lot of memorization here. If you have any questions on any of these, question, uh, these specific questions, just leave a comment and I'll help you with it. But if you have another question on a math topic or concept also leave a comment and i can help you with it i can make a special video just for you either way i look forward to seeing you next time right here on west explains best